Good morning guys and I hope you're well. So I thought today we would look at the Catafact Eye Terminators and what we do to prep them before painting. Now I'm going to do a whole series on these and we're going to do the build and then we're going to do the painting and this will be a series of videos so if you're an Imperial Fist fan this is going to be brilliant for you. Um, we will use different techniques and play around with stuff and have some fun and I think we go right into the process of painting and modeling these guys. Um, so let's start off with taking a look at what we've got. So they come on either sprues of three or sprues or a sprue of two. I say a sprue, it's uh, basically just a huge chunk of resin uh, where they pour the resin into the mold. Um, now what I've done is I've gone through them all, I've cleaned these all up, I've cut them into individual sections because I kind of like painting them when they're still on here. And I, what I've done is I've cleaned up the tops, uh, the torso and added the torso to the legs. Now, what I did find is when you're sticking these together, you can actually repose these to positions that you want. So look at the legs, see how the legs are set out and just turn the torso so they're not all just facing forward. Um, you know, give them a bit of movement in there because that really helps and it really makes your characters or your your minis completely different to everybody else's. So just think about that for a second when you're putting them together. Um, now, also what I've done is, is I've separated everything into piles. Now, I generally do this because it helps me find out what I'm missing or what I need to play around with. And it also it gives me an idea of what arms, what guns and stuff like that I've got to sort out my minis. Um, so try and look at what you've got here and and then go from that and see if, and and the other side of this is is prep as much as you possibly can so if you're going through the bits clean them up prep them um you know glue bits together like i've done here so i've stuck the chain blades on the front of the uh, combi bolter um and just ready to go i've played around with some of the arms so i've added a saw to the arms You'll notice that this is a bit bent, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set these straight using hot water. And uh, I've just got everything ready to go basically. And I've also played around with a combi melter and bolter, as you can see there, and prepped that ready to go because I kind of like the idea of my sergeant having those. Now, let's just take a look at the sergeant. Um, he, you will see the sergeant, he's slightly different to all the rest. There's a lovely little skull and a, and a shield there, and he's got the lightning symbols up the side. Now I've also stuck on the grenade launcher onto the top, so it's ready to go. And there was also, if we just grab this piece, as you can see, hold on, let's just get out of focus. There we go. I do apologize, it's a, it's a good camera, but it doesn't always do what you want it to do. Now. There's a little shield there with a skull in it. He'll, that'll be going on part of his armor. And we'll be fitting this head just here. Now, I'm not sticking any of the heads in because I want to paint them and then I'm going to stick them in. Um, we're going to go to town on these guys because I've been waiting a long, long time for them to come out. So this is the beginning of our video. It may be a long video. I may break it down into a couple of sections, but this is our start. So number one rule, prep everything. By prepping, that means wash, uh, all, your, all your mini parts. Uh, make sure you get rid of all the mold release. Use hot soapy water. That way you can give them a good scrub. Not too hot, not too boiling hot, but enough just to get rid of the um, materials or any excess uh, uh, mold release that's on there. Then prep all your models, all your mini parts like your arms, clean them up, uh, get rid of any flashing, separate them into piles, make sure you've got everything there and then we'll move on to the next section. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Hi guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I've got my hot water. Now I use hot water straight out of the kettle for when I'm doing this sort of thing because um, you need to get the resin uh, to become soft. Uh, not too soft that you ruin it, but just, it shouldn't take too long, but just enough just to get it to reposition. Now, be careful with your fingers, please. Uh, use tweezers if you can, but you shouldn't have to put it in there too long. The idea is that we're just straightening up the blade. So that, straight away, is a lot better. And I only put it in there for a few seconds. 
So there we go, it's as simple as that one, set, resetting your resin, getting rid of any warpage. Um, for thicker models, it takes a little bit longer, for example, uh, like, um, you know, like say, a terminator leg, if you wanted to re reposition some of the legs, that would take a little bit longer and you'd have to sink the whole model in the water. Um, but for this, a few seconds for thinner stuff and it's done. And you're gonna get warpage, don't worry about that. It does happen, it's just one of those things. So I will see you in the next section, take care. Hi guys, welcome back. So we've put the shoulder pads on, we've fitted the little shield there that represents our sergeant. Uh, he's got his sword in place, uh, his combi weapon is in place as well. Um, and I just thought I'd just mention just quickly, on the, um, on the lightning claws and all the other arms, let's just focus in on that. I do apologize for my, I know a lot of people complain about my focusing, but unfortunately until I buy a better camera, this will just, and I replace the background, this will just have to do. So you can see here on this side that you have a little slot. So when you've got your shoulder pad, as you can see there, it has a little slot in it. And that basically, I would glue it before you put the arm on. So that literally, I'll just get it to go in, just literally sits in like so. And it's that easy. And that's what I would do. I would glue it on before you put the arm on. And that will save you a hell of a lot of time. And uh, the other side um, has two holes in it. And this is so you can separate left um, from right. And it has two holes in it. And the shoulder pad also has two holes in it as well so it's nice and easy to put together oops so i do apologize uh, the captain or the sergeant model sorry i've got to i've got to say i love cataphract you know uh, slow and purposeful um they're so well designed they just look so much more beefier than a tartarus but you know the tartarus it's just different versions of terminator armor that's all it is different variants and different versions of terminator armor um, so I'm going to move on to gluing everything else and I will see you back here very shortly. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I've completed all my Terminators and I thought we'd have a quick look at them. So let's start off with the Sergeant and with the Sergeant we gave him a power sword and we gave him a combi weapon. Now he's got the grenade launcher that sits on the top there and he's also got the little shield denoting that he is the sergeant of that squad. Um, we've given this guy a flamer and we've also given him a chain fist. Um, the nice thing about this is you're allowed, for every five models in the squad, you're allowed to add another heavy weapon. So I've got a 10 man unit here and I've gone for a heavy flamer instead of the plasma because I feel that flamers in the new 40k6 edition are really deadly. Um, this guy, we've given him a power fist and I've also given him a combi bolter, uh, which is really nice, or twin loop bolter, sorry, I should say, uh, which is really cool. And with this guy, I've given him again twin loop bolter and he's got a um, power fist on that side. So I went dumb for a second then. I love this armor as well, the Cataphract Terminator armor, because it fits really well, uh, really well with my uh, Imperial fist because of the Crusade armor that I've got and also the iron armor. I think that's what it's called. I might have got that wrong. Um, with this guy, I've given him again, a twin bolter or combi bolter and a thunder hammer. God, I'm going dumb. Um, the guy behind him, he has a combi weapon, which is a flamer and bolt pistol or bolter, and he's holding a mace in the other hand. And be aware of the tassels again, because the, really the tassels will give you that movement in the, in the mini. Um, if they're hanging down, have them hanging down. If they're upwards, obviously, you know, or slide hanging to the side, then you can bend the arm upwards. Um, if we look at the guys in the back here, I've gone for uh, a twisted upper torso, so he's turning, and he's also got lightning claws. Uh, and I love the fact that I can give these guys lightning claws. 
it's just such a lovely mixture. Um, it's not all just, this is a close combat squad, this is a shooty squad. I've got a mixture in there. Um, again, a thunder hammer on one side and a combi bolt on the other side with uh, the added chain blade there. Um, and finally, this guy here looks really hench with his uh, lightning claws all sprayed out, ready for a big, a big fight. And then this guy with his auto cannon and his chain fist. So all in all, really impressed with these. Nice, easy models to put together. Um, I would put the shoulder pads onto the arms before you stick them in. Um, it still works really well. I'm left with quite a huge amount of, uh, of spares which is really nice. And I've also got some extra weapons. So if I do want to do some uh, more uh, more Terminators, I've got some spare parts to play along with. Now, I've not stuck the head in yet because I'm going to be painting the head separately um, and then gluing them into place. Now I'm going to base coat these guys with a white primer and then I'm going to spray them with a, a, yellow, uh, a yellow paint probably Vallejo um, and then we're going to pick out the golds and the blacks and stuff like that so I will see you guys in the painting video I hope you enjoyed the construction side of it all it's really easy to do it's not a hassle um, as long as you prep everything and you you've got everything laid out in front of you you'll have these done in no time whatsoever okay guys I will see you in the painting video